everyone. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Whenever you are watching this, I hope you are all doing well. Just trying to get um, situated and make sure that everyone can see me. Um, but yeah, hi. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys have had an absolutely amazing week. Even though basically the week isn't over, we still have Friday, which is tomorrow, which I think we are all pretty excited about. Um, yeah, or maybe just me. So if you are new here, you may um, not know me. My name is Michelle. Great to meet you. I do um, live streams here for us twice a week, both on Thursdays and on Mondays. Um, so on the second Thursday of the month, we do a later chat at 5.30 Eastern Standard, which is right now. So yeah, welcome. I am excited to be chatting with you all today. I always have fun chatting, let's be honest. They, I don't know, we just always have such a good time, I feel. Um, sorry, I just want to get closer so I can see um, your comments because, um, yeah, I do not have the best vision, but that is okay. So if you are brand new here or if you're um, an existing viewer, please feel free to say hi, introduce yourself, say a fun fact about yourself. Um, yeah, I don't know, say whatever you want. If the comments are open, so anything you want to share, please feel free to share. So we are, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, yeah, so we are starting a couple minutes early, so I'm just gonna give everyone a few minutes to get situated, to get organized, and then we will get into the main discussion. Um, but yeah, until then, feel free to comment your name, where you're from, how your day's going, how your week has been going, anything fun you wanna share. It is always nice, yeah, it's always nice to hear from you guys. And the first commenter is Eddie. Hi, Eddie, how are you? So great to see you. Um, yeah, it's always nice seeing familiar names, familiar faces. And I don't know, it makes me happy. It's like the little things that make your day, you know? So we have Eddie here. Hi, Eddie. And we also have Scott. Hi, Scott. Um, remind me, where are you guys both from and what time zone are you in? It's always nice, I don't know, to see like how like what time zone you guys prefer watching in because we do have a few different options for you guys. And then we have David. Hi David, so great to see you. How are you? How was your week? I hope it was fabulous and I hope you are ready for the weekend. As I said a few minutes ago, I certainly am. It has been a super crazy week. Just so much going on, but it's all good. It's always good to be busy, I feel. It just keeps I don't know, it keeps life interesting. I feel like I'm just so much busier than I used to be. Like when I was younger, I would just come home from school and I would have hours of just downtime to relax, hang out, and now I feel like every day is just go, go, go. And I don't have as much downtime as I used to, but I am okay with that because I really like being busy. To me, it is just a lot of fun. And hello, Jordan, great to see you. So I am gonna get us open in Pal Talk right now and I will be in my room, Michelle's room and happy or merry early Christmas. I was about to say happy Christmas and I was like, that's not what you're supposed to say. It's merry Christmas and happy new year. All right, so let me get us set up in Michelle's room. And yes, we are live in both, and we are live in both places. I'm slipping over my words, but yes. Hi everyone, we are Again, a lot of those places. Um, and then we have Nick. Hi, Nick. Um, yes, my evening is going great so far. I'm just hanging out here with you guys and thinking what I should make for dinner. <laughs> what else is new? And then we have Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Very cool. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking both places at once. Um, but yeah, so great to see you guys. Thanks for all tuning in. So um, if you did not see the title, basically I thought today it would be a lot of fun to kind of have just a quick little chit chat about New Year's resolutions and kind of just, yeah, bounce around solutions off one another. And I don't know, just talk about progress and everything. I've read this like a million times. I don't know if you have as well, but a lot of studies show that the more you talk about your goals and the things you want, basically the more likely you are to follow through with them. Um, I mean, I guess it just gives you accountability and it kind of just makes you more determined to get it done. So you can basically share your progress, your progress with family and friends. I cannot talk today. It's like, because it's, I don't know, it's so late and then words 
it's hard to get them all out. Um, yeah, I, I talk a lot. Um, so Nick's goal is to give up smoking. That's a great New Year's resolution. Feel free um, to comment your resolutions too. Um, again, yeah, just I feel like actually talking about them or writing them down just kind of makes them feel more real. So you can kind of just like see your goals and give yourself, I don't know, some accountability. So I think that's a great goal. And treat, keeping track of your progress, I think, is important too. Because sometimes you can have like a really bad week or a really bad month. But if you kind of look back on where you were um, six weeks ago versus where you are today, I feel like it kind of just gives you a re reminder that like you're getting there, you're getting there. A day, a week, a month might even be hard, but you can't let that like overshadow all of the awesome progress you have made so far. What else have you guys been working on? What other resolutions um, do you have? They could be big ones, they could be small ones, they could be something in the middle. Um, so Jordan wants to produce his own musical. I love that. I think that is so awesome, so fun. If I was a better singer, I would definitely audition, but I am the worst singer probably in probably in the entire world, probably in the entire world. Um, and then John wants to find um, a new partner, so that's great. Yeah, maybe I should make a musical. No, actually. I don't think I don't think I do very well. I will just let um, Jordan take the lead on that. I do sing in the car all the time, and I always feel like the cars next to me could probably hear me, and they probably secretly judge me because I do not do a very good job. But I am perfectly okay with that. And then sometimes I'll like sing little songs or hum tunes like under my breath when I'm like walking in public or something, and I don't even realize it. And I'm like, okay, you, you can't do this. It's you're probably going to annoy people, but it's okay. It's okay. We all do weird things. Yeah, so those are awesome goals um, that we've heard so far. Feel free, um, yeah, to keep me posted. I would love to hear progress, like what your plans are to actually get that goal. I don't know, to actually make it happen. And I mean, you read this everywhere, I feel, but I, I do believe it. I think it's important to break up, you know, large goals into really small, really attainable ones. So you're not just like freaking out and not knowing if you're on the right track or how to get started or where to get started or anything like that. Um, also, who else sings in the car? Just a side note, who else sings in the car? And do you, cons do you consider yourself a good singer or a bad singer? It always, it's so funny, I feel like, when you think you're such an amazing singer and then you'll like listen to a recording of yourself or something and you're like, oh, I wasn't as good as I thought. I don't know if any of you guys get that. Because I always knew I was a bad singer, but I have heard recordings of myself singing and then I'm thinking to myself, okay, I am a lot worse than I really thought I was. I should probably um, not sing as loud so I don't annoy people. Um, but anyways, that's that. We're kind of I'm getting off the topic here, but that happens a lot. Um, yeah, so I feel like um, on another note, there's definitely, I feel like it's easy to get overwhelmed with goals. It's like you can set yourself up for all these like great ideas and you're so excited, but when you actually get started, it can be a little overwhelming. Like you don't know where to start or you feel like you're in over your head and you just don't know what to do. I don't know if any of you guys feel that way too. Like a personal example for me, this isn't really a New Year's thing, this is kind of an ongoing thing. I really want to try my best to start waking up earlier on a daily basis. It, it's so hard, I'm sure you, you guys know, you guys know waking up early is so hard, but I'm trying, I'm trying. But sometimes I'll be a little too ambitious and I'll think to myself, okay, I'm going to wake up at 6 every day this week. And then I just get so overwhelmed by like Tuesday and I'm like, I cannot do this anymore. I need to sleep more. So it's kind of just, again, doing baby steps and not setting up crazy expectations. A more reasonable goal could have been like, okay, I'm going to wake up um, at 6, 6.30 once a week for a month. And then once I get used to that, I could slowly um, do more. Or I could be like, okay, twice a week I'll wake up at like 6.45. Just something that's a bit closer to my comfort zone to where I'm at now instead of just taking this like huge like plunge and just setting myself up 
with a goal that just really is not realistic. I don't know. I mean, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Um, who else struggles with waking up early? And what is like your typical sleep routine? Do you go to bed late, wake up late, go to bed early, wake up early? Something in the middle. My routine is not even a routine. It is very all over the place. I feel like every day of the week is just so different. And sometimes it can get a little confusing, but I mean, I guess you get used to it. I feel like our bodies are very adaptable. And when you've been doing something for so long, your body just gets used to it, you know? Like I'll have weeks so I'll wake up super, super early. And then, I mean, sorry, I'll have days where I wake up super early, go to bed super early. Then I'll have other days where I go to bed so late and I wake up so late. And it probably isn't like the healthiest thing. So that's, yeah, that's basically my main goal um, for this coming year. I hope to get on a better track, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, but I shared um, my goal with you guys. So I really hope that helps keep me accountable. And yeah, if any of you guys can relate, if you have any tips or advice, I would love to know. Um, a hack I did for a while was I would put my alarm at the other end of the room. So I'd have to actually walk and go turn it off. But then I started cheating. I would go walk and turn it off do snooze and go back into bed and it was such a terrible habit and so so that didn't really work i think i might need something else but uh, i don't know it's really it's really just trial and error you guys it's trial and error and not being so hard on yourself if something doesn't work out um jordan likes to sleep on his days off i do too i think we all do i feel like after a crazy week there's nothing better than spending a Saturday just like in bed all day, just like watching movies. That is just, that is like, so like that just makes me so happy just thinking that. That would be like the best day ever where you just didn't have to worry about like any household chores or anything. Um, no like work stuff, you have to know Monday. Just having a really nice day at home, like totally like no technology, no distractions, or I guess TV is a distraction, so that wasn't entirely true. But I think you guys know what I mean. Because sometimes I'll be um, watching a show and I'll think to myself, okay, I'm just gonna watch one show and I'm gonna go um, um, do laundry or whatever. But then I get so distracted and so into the show that one episode will turn into like five. And it just is like, it's just a roller coaster of endless distractions, endless TV, which I mean, is okay. We're all human. Um, I'm not pretending to be. Um, Someone I'm not, I don't think anyone is perfect in any way, shape, or form. You could be really great at something in one area, but I, I don't know, I feel like none of us can really be perfect. It's kind of just something to continually strive, um, you know, to get better, but not for anyone else. Like, it's basically just for you, because that's basically the only person, like, who matters in the goal setting process, you know? Like, you should never want to set goals because you think you're supposed to or to make someone else happy, it should definitely be because, it should be because you want to do it because that's what's going to keep you motivated and to keep trying and to keep going. Because if something is really important to you and you really do want it, like you'll find a way or make a way to make sure that it actually happens. I mean, I don't know, that's how I feel. It's like with the getting up early thing, for example, it's like I really want to start getting up early but I don't want to do it to make like my friends happy or my family happy. I want to do it to make me happy. So I have more time, you know, I have more time in my day to do things I want to do to get things done and just not feel as pressured. Cause I definitely, I hate the feeling of not, I hate the feeling of feeling like I'm pressured. I hate when I have to do something in an hour and realistically I know it'll likely take me two. It's just such a not a fun feeling because then you just like get nervous and paranoid about missing a step or making a mistake. So I'd rather give myself like a 10, 20 minute buffer of extra time just in case something does go wrong or not wrong, but like not as anticipated. So I do have time to go back and fix it and avoid any, I don't know, just avoid any problems. Because no matter what you do, there's always going to be at least one thing that goes wrong or doesn't go as planned. Like if you're baking something, like if you forget to pick up an ingredient or if you miss a step or something or other, there's always something and there's always something. So at least you have some sort of a plan. 
so you're not scrambling and feeling nervous about time and everything like that. Um, wow, I just realized I'm talking for about 15 minutes and I want to talk all about New Year's resolutions. And I feel like we only really talked about that for like half the time. But that is okay. That is okay. Um, if you're just tuning in right now, um, or you've been watching, like what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on resolutions? What are your thoughts on goal setting? How do you like to set goals? I don't know, I'd love to know. I think it's always really interesting to hear like your guys' advice and what you think about certain topics. I don't know, I'm just like the biggest nerd and whenever we finish these chats, I'll scroll through the comments and it just makes me happy. I don't know, to see you guys, um, just to see your thoughts, even if it's just a quick hello. It's always nice to hear. And yeah, wow, it's crazy. What number of the month is it today? Today is the 10th, it's 10th. I don't know, I don't know where this time is going. It's, it's, it's crazy. I can't even put it into a sentence. Time flies so, so, so fast. We have been doing these um, chats for almost a year now, which doesn't even seem real. If you will go back and watch the older videos, I'm, I haven't done that in a while, but I'm just curious to see like how the videos have changed and just like the vibe, the style, like how confident I feel talking to you and everything. But I remember the first um, talk, I was very nervous. I didn't want to make any mistakes or say anything weird or, or get the hiccups or something. But I think I think it went well. And then we both like learned and grew together. And yeah, I don't know. I really like having these chit chats. I think that, I don't know, they're just so much fun. I always feel like I, like even I learned something by the end of them. So I'm going to think like, okay, what do I want to talk about? How can I like inspire you guys? Like, um, have like a good time with you guys, have a cool chit chat, and then I'll start thinking about things going on in my life and stuff, and I'm like, oh, that'd be a fun discussion. Let me think more about that. So, I don't know. It's kind of just like a cool thing. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through the comments here. It's just kind of like a cool thing to think about. I don't know. That's how I feel. You may agree. You may disagree. And another thing I learned by looking back at old episodes or chats, whatever you want to call them, I think I have like three shirts that I actually really like. So I feel like I almost always wear the same thing, but that's just because I really like them and they are comfortable and I I just like wearing them. So I may need to get um, some new clothes, but I don't really want to because I like the clothes I have. So, I mean, we'll see how that goes. Um, Bob, um, thank you. I am staying safe. I hope you are safe as well. Thank you for the love. And you are from Pennsylvania. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you guys are all well and have gotten like your presents ready for Christmas, have just gotten, just got everything organized, ready. Yeah, basically the main point is I hope all is well. I hope all is well. It's always, I don't know, it's nice to hear like cool news from you guys, like hear what's going on. It just makes me feel like excited for you, you know? So if you ever have any like fun shit, like fun stories from milestones, like anything cool you want to share, feel free, don't be shy. It's always cool. I don't know, see what you guys are up to because I am a very nosy person. Um, but yeah, it's getting um, a little late. We are close to, um, it's almost around six now, um, Eastern. So I think we're probably gonna call it a day here. As always, I really appreciate everyone who tunes in. It's always so great to see you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will keep my eyes open for them. Until then, I will see you all on our Monday chats at 11 a.m. Eastern. Alrighty, that's it for now and I hope you all have an amazing night. Okay.